Two Towns GTC 2016 coverage is brought to you by NVIDIA. You know what, just between you and I, which is pretty much the whole world, one of my recent um, influences has been Casey Neistat. I don't know, maybe some of you have probably heard of, them, heard of him, probably most of you have heard of him. Uh, he's a huge YouTube sensation, has two and a half million subscribers, and he does a daily vlog. Um, they're about 10 minutes each, and I absolutely love the way he does it. Um, so I'm not trying to get in on his game there, but I thought that I might start to do more of this. Uh, the camera and me, I should say. Um, so, NVIDIA's GTC 2016, what can we expect? Um, last year, NVIDIA unveiled the GeForce GTX Titan X, which was the GM200, the full fat Maxwell GPU that was just insane. It had 12 gigabytes of GDDR5, um, but this year, what do we expect? So, usually NVIDIA will go straight to the top, unveil their best GPU, and then roll out from there. But you've also got to remember that in late 2014, NVIDIA released the GM204 based GeForce GTX 980. So when the 980 came out, it was a pretty big deal at the time because of its power efficiency, but it still didn't beat, completely beat the best from AMD at the time, which was the 290X and the 295X2, the dual GP version of the Hawaii card. So I don't know what to expect from NVIDIA, whether they'll go straight to the top and unveil a massive card, a Titan X successor based on the Pascal architecture. Uh, but if they do, I think that we're gonna see a card with two offerings. I don't see Nvidia offering just one. I have a really big feeling that we're gonna see two. I think that we're gonna see Nvidia release a Titan X uh, successor based on the Pascal architecture with 16 gigabytes of HBM2. And then I think they're gonna go balls to the wall and go 32 gig of HBM2. It sounds awesome. Uh, but they're going to be expensive. So the Titan X debuted at like $999 uh, USD. If they do this, I really can't see them releasing a 16 gig HBM2 version for less than a thousand. I'm thinking maybe $1,299 or maybe even $1,499. And then the 32 gig version will probably be something like $1,799 to $1,999, um, which is expensive, but not many people buy the Titan X for just gaming. Uh, the 12 gigabytes of, of GDDR5 on the current Titan X is more than enough for even triple 4K, and that's 11,520 by 2160, by the way, which is just insane. But the Titan X can handle that. Maybe not a super fluid frame rate, but, but the frame buffer, the 12 gig of frame buffer is enough. So maybe we might see a 16 and 32 gig version, or maybe we might see an eight gig and 16 gig version, maybe at the 999 and maybe 1299 or 1499 for the 16 gig version. Um, but what else to expect? Uh, I don't think that Nvidia will release anything enthusiast based apart from maybe a Titan X successor. So don't try and expect maybe a 980 Ti successor, uh, possibly a 1080, but I think that Nvidia will release that probably closer to Computex, which is in the first week of June this year. Um, if NVIDIA are going to do anything with a new card, it's most likely going to be at Computex. And then hopefully they'll host their uh, annual Editor's Day, which usually falls in the September space, which is where I think we'll see something new. Um, maybe we will see G-Sync 2 um, or a, a, a change to G-Sync. Um, I really don't know, but I think we'll see something new. Maybe a VR headset, like Shield VR. I've been teasing NVIDIA for quite a while on Shield VR um, since they expanded into the Shield 4K uh, set-top box that they released a couple of months ago, or last year, I should say, in 2015, which is awesome. I love my Shield. Absolutely adore my Shield. I use it all the time, but I really want to see the Tegra X1 powering a, a Shield VR headset. Um, maybe alongside a a more VR-centric GPU, which I think we're gonna see NVIDIA pushing into this year. They've been pretty quiet when it comes to VR. Uh, they're talking about their, um, their VR-ready systems and their VR-ready GeForce program, which is awesome. But right now, AMD seems to be much more 1,000% into VR, but I think that's because NVIDIA are kind of pumping the brakes a little bit because they want to do this massive unveiling, hopefully next week at GTC, um, and then over the next couple of months leading up to Computex and Editor's Day later this year. Um, but again, no one knows this is just me talking to a camera. I don't know what NVIDIA are going to be doing, but I can tell you that I am excited. 
Um, I think that they will surprise people at GCC and I really hope they just go for the insane, crazy 16 or 32 gig HBM2 on a new Titan X, but we'll see you very soon. Until next time.